Hello there everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews! And we are going to continue with the recap video, so welcome to JJ Prime Recaps episode number 2! That is right! So, in the second episode of JJ Prime Recaps, we are going to do a recap of the second wave of Studio Series. So, let's get down to the review table and begin with the recap. So, let's get it on, man. Let's go! Alright, so here we are on the review table itself. And let's begin with a recap of Studio Series Wave 2. That's right, so... Number 10, so I'm saying number 10 because, you know, number 9 was actually an exclusive figure. It was the Toys R Us exclusive Thundercracker from Studio Series. I never got that figure because I didn't really, I, I, I don't think I really needed it. <laughs> it was just a straight repaint of, uh, of Nitro Zeus uh, with a new head. So, I mean, the new head looked cool, but I don't know, I, I never got him. But, um, so yeah, so let's start with number 10. So number 10, Deluxe Class. We, we got Autobot Jazz himself. Oh, poor Jazz. He got ripped in half in the first movie. <laughs> he totally got ripped in half by Megatron in the first movie. But yeah, I really like this figure. I will say, I really, I really dig the look of this figure. The robot mode is very nice and uh, screen accurate, in my opinion, anyway. I, I do quite like the design of this figure. Um, yeah, sure, it, it, it could have been hit. It could have been blah 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 blah, blah and these are my tongue malfunctions. Um, it could have been way better if there if they had a lot more super paint on the legs, but eh, it is what it is, you know. I I'm fine with this, so you know. Yes, he does have a backpack, but I don't care about the backpack. I I I, I don't display my figures facing the walls, so I don't really care what the back looks like. But yeah, I really dig this figure. I I, I think he's a fun figure to mess with. You know, he's very nice and detailed. Hey hey. <laughs> So, yeah, very nice and detailed, very well done. Um, the transformation is fun and smooth. Um, the vehicle mode looks great, you know, a nice silver paint all around for the vehicle mode. So, yeah, the silver paint budget went to this guy. So, because <laughs> he looks so shiny in his vehicle mode. So, yeah, pretty cool figure. And, uh, and of course, his weapon is a really nice touch. I do quite like his weapon. So, yeah, really, really nicely done. So, yeah, so there you have uh, Jazz right there. And number 11. We got Deluxe Class Lockdown from Age of Extinction and I know some of you may be upset that the fact that Hasbro actually labeled this guy as a Decepticon because he is a Decepticon and he still is, you know, he's still evil. <laughs> yes, he does have green eyes but I don't care, he's still a Decepticon and I did put a Decepticon symbol on him i'm sorry <laughs> i apologize for you uh i apologize to the people who think that lockdown is not a decepticon but in truth he is a decepticon he is totally evil he literally destroyed some cities in, on the earth in age of extinction so that's what a decepticon does and he did that so yeah <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, but it's a really cool figure in my opinion. I, I think he looks gorgeous in robot mode. I think he looks really, really good, you know. Looks very screen accurate too, so yeah, really nice. Um, way better than the original Age of Extinction Deluxe. That, that, that original Deluxe was uh, not that great. <laughs> I mean, it was a decent figure for what it is, but this one pulls out the look way way better and also they made him like you know a little bit taller I, I do quite like it you know I do quite like it he's not that fat he's not that short he actually have he actually has long legs and then that's pretty cool you know that is what lockdown tends to have so yeah he's supposed to have long legs and this figure does have that so yeah and the vehicle mode looks gorgeous as well it's a Lamborghini Aventador and I do quite like the vehicle mode and the uh, the weapons that he comes with is really cool. You know, when it comes to the dagger, it comes to the hook. So that's awesome. That is definitely locked down for you. So yeah, uh, yes, I know he does have a huge backpack, but again, I don't care about the I don't care about the backpack. I only care about the front, and the front looks great in my opinion. So yeah. So there you have the two deluxes right there from wave two, and yeah, we only have like two deluxes from wave two. So let me raise up the camera. A little bit more so that we can actually move on to the final two Voyagers that's right we only have four figures on wave two <laughs> so yeah so number 12 of studio series we got the Supercon 
Bro, another movie one bot. Hey, another movie one bot, and that is pretty cool. Yeah, I honestly I do quite like this figure. He does have like a lot of sewer paint all around, you know, with his hands, you know, that that looks beautiful, you know, that is so gorgeous, you know, it makes the detail pop, you know, that's cool, nice face sculpt, the face sculpt is definitely screen accurate, and yeah, I do quite like the design of this robot mode, you know, he looks really good, you know, I, I do quite like him, the only qualm I have with this figure is that he doesn't have ankle tilts, other than that, he's really, really cool, you know, I, I do quite like him, and the tank mode looks great as well, you know, the tank mode looks good, um, he definitely needed a lot more paint here and there, like on the shoulders, on, on, the, on the chest a little bit more, but um, overall, he's a really well done figure, in my opinion, the weapons he comes with is pretty cool, you know, with the, with the claw thing, and this big fusion four barrel cannon thing and I do quite like that very very much so yeah that's pretty 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 cool so there you have the Subcon Brawl right there so let me bring Jason Locked down a bit closer bring Brawl a little bit closer so there we go and last but not least number 13 we got Revenge of the Fallen Megatron I was legitimately surprised by this figure I mean look at the robot mode that is definitely Revenge of the Fallen Megatron for you. The original uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, I've seen pictures. Now, I can say that the original Re Revenge of the Fallen Megatron looks nothing like this. <laughs> and he was green. I don't know why he was green. He's not green. He's supposed to be, you know, gray, you know, and all that. So, and this, this pulls off the look way, way better. So, so much better. It's so much more screen accurate. So yeah, if you had to choose one between the, the original Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Megatron and the Studio Series Megatron, go get this guy. If you don't have this guy yet, go get this guy because he's just awesome. You know, he's he's so much better than the original Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Megatron. Yes, I've seen pictures, I've seen how it looks, and I can tell you tell tell you about how it looks you know yeah, I, I, I can complain about the looks but I will not complain about how it works how the figure works I can say the looks okay I can you know describe the looks of the figure because I've seen pictures I've seen reviews of the figure so yeah but yeah pretty cool pretty cool figure this one I, I absolutely love this Megatron and um, I think this is still my favorite uh, movie Megatron figure I think so um, yeah, really, really nicely done. I, I do quite like him. Uh, the tank mode, yeah, the tank mode is definitely a Cybertronian tank mode, and I do love it <laughs> with a visible head syndrome. I do quite like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. And another successful way from the Studio Series, even though there were only four figures <laughs> sold here. So, yeah, I, I really love these uh, Studio Series figures, man. Man, wave two. Still, still a great wave. Uh, yeah, I know it's like very, very little, like only four figures. <laughs> but still, it's a really well done wave in my opinion. I do quite like these four figures a lot. So yeah, Hasbro did not disappoint me with these four figures. So they're just awesome. They're just fun to mess with, and very nice and detailed. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, yeah. So I think. Uh, I think that is pretty much it for today's recap for the second wave of Studio Series. So I hope you have enjoyed this recap video and if you did, go do me a favor and click that like button for me. Slam dunk that like button. I would appreciate that very, very much. So yeah, and I think that is pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Studio Series Wave 2 recap. and. This is JJ Prime setting off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. If you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well. So, okay, yeah, I'm done here. So I'm gonna go off, bye bye. This is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.